So, hello everyone. Welcome back to another filler day of Minecraft. As you can tell, I've uh, if you've seen the last episode, I've had to make a new uh, level. The original was a Song of Me, which is a reference to Nightwish. A Song of Updates is just my poking fun at the fact that they seem to be putting out an update almost every other week lately, which keeps fucking with my games. Apparently they keep thinking that the new updates are going to bug your original saves, so I'm just like, ugh, frelet, fine, update, new one. I like the new place. We're already on the top of a mountain. The only way up uh, easily is through waterfalls, so that means none of the monsters are going to get up here. And I'm going to show you my cave system in a little bit, but there's a couple of things I want to do first. First of all, I believe it's a setting sun right now. Yes, it is. Uh, by the way, I've already cleared that boat. I even punched holes here just to make sure that there's no hidden secrets anywhere on there. I'll make sure things are a little bit more lit up up there. Make sure nothing tries to spawn on top of the house. Is it raining? Yeah, it just lit up and started raining as soon as I walked away. Alright. Well, that's a thing. I don't have a bed yet, I think. Do I have wool? I might have wool, I haven't dyed it yet. Yes, I do. Mm, excuse me. We'll have to look for flowers while we're out. So here's the thing. I haven't had a chance yet, and I want to do it right now. First things first, since it's night out now, and we're this close to the swamp, I want to head over there and see if we can get some slimes. I am going to up the brightness through the roof, because I want to be able to see in the dark. And I ain't spending... When you, all you need to do is up the brightness, you shouldn't need to have to spend time and resources on potions. Of course, the last time I came out here, I got caught by a drowned and harpooned to death. Which is why we're going to try and avoid going too far out into the deep water. It's relatively shallow. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I can see that we're almost about ready to hit some plant life here. In fact, just bright, period. There we go. Ooh. Didn't see those until it just started moving. That's... yeah, that's a mountain. Okay. This is shallow enough water. Should be safe from spawning monsters. And also deep enough that uh, if we get a creeper follow or something, we won't be followed all the way out. That's... Yeah, there's some flowers. Oh, I should also mention this. <laughs> I have... What do they call it again? I have found a pair of boots that has Frost Walker. Basically, it means that whenever I'm on water, I turn everything to ice. I can, however, start jumping and just swim through the water normally. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I'm not here for you, but since you are in my way... Oh, hi. Nah. If you're gonna follow me, you're gonna follow me out into the water. Where it's easier to hit ya. Get you a lot on my hair. We all have to walk slower. Oh, except for the spider, apparently. That's a lot of undead I've killed to that right there. Also noticing that a lot of this is not actually unfreezing, which is a little bit odd.
So I'm going to do my best not to destroy nature right now. Alright. Do you see any slimes? I don't see any slimes. Got some sheep and some chickens. Yo. Some creepers, some skeletons. Oh, hey. Some regular old school sugar cane. Ooh. Yeah, by the way, bamboo is not a replacement for sugar cane still. Like for anything. Ouch. Need to heal up. Oh, no. No. Not a. Oh. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. I can see the color blue. Yep, come on. You wanted this. Come and get it. Still looking for slimes. I'm still not seeing any. Take some chicken eggs, though. <laughs> Keep walking into this sword fight. You might not want to do that. Uh, start. I should start collecting eggs, though, so I can try and make a chicken farm eventually. Have something other than fish to eat. As long as I keep hopping while I walk, I won't make the ice. I heard it. There it is. Hello, Mr. Slime. Is all I wanted. I think some sugar cane ain't bad either. All right, on our way. On our way. Bye. Hey, off my boat, punk. Alright, you're off my boat. So first things first, get my fish ready. Teach you all the mess of my boat. And away! <laughs> Just as dawn starts to break on the edges of the uh, horizon. Let's get back over here. Let's see if we can make my bed quick before it's dawn and actually uh, get some rest. Oh gosh, it's super bright in here. There we go. Need it from that swamp. 
Um, what am I doing? I don't need to be in there. Did I grab a chest from somewhere? Apparently I must have. Might be putting the stones in there pretty soon. Um, oh, I'm just having to think. I need to pull that all back out. And I need the wool. I need the wool. I'm going to process this. Dive the wool. And now... There we go. Where I want to put this. I think I was thinking this could be my little den. Ah, too small. Let's make it right here for now. Dang it. We're stuck in this weather then. Uh, it took too long to make the bed. Alright. Well, since we are stuck waiting on the weather... Actually, I got a couple things I can check on really quick. First and foremost, we should head out by the bamboo and put up our new sugar cane where the bamboo is and put the bamboo up on this higher ledge here. So let's just take this all down. Okay. Boots are just being a pain in the ass right now. Alright. Sugar cane down here. Then the bamboo. By the way, I believe. Ooh. No, I had one of those over here. I believe the bamboo I found in one of the treasure chests. I've already uh, abstained from, I've confiscated things from, rather, there, that's the word. I've uh, opened up a couple of chests in this boat. I've spotted another boat, which is something I wanted to venture over to, but not in this weather. And I've also set my eyes on a treasure map, which already garnered me some more stuff, including the few diamonds I have at the moment. Another thing I want to check on is up on the top of my home, if you will. I've made a patch of dirt and started growing trees. Let's see how the trees are doing. 
also gets us from the, away from the rain because we're now in the snow. Oh my god, one of them grew into a giant. Stay away from my trees! Thanks for killing your friend for me. Don't you hate that team member that just hurts everyone else on the team and doesn't care? Ooh. Okay, Mr. Creeper. Stay to follow me. That's what I thought, coward. Don't go back up when you're done trying to creep around my trees. I think I have a shears, but I don't think it's on me. Alright, elevator up. No, I didn't make a shears. I must have been thinking about the other one. Oh. That's much nicer. See off into the distant horizon and all that lovely swamp I ran about in. All right, put that all away, put these away. As long as I'm not... Actually, I should put these away as well. As nice as they've been, they, I don't want them destroyed yet, and it's going to take quite a bit to fix them after a while. Drop that off. Drop off the eggs until I get more eggs. Drop off the lily pads. Don't need them on me. Um... That's what I thought. Let's cook up an eight stack. Where did I find wheat from? So I don't have any seeds. I must have found that in a chest too. I've also been uh, tampering with lanterns. There's something new that I've found out about just recently. Thanks, Putes. And I'll be uh, looking into decorating certain areas with lanterns. Well, since the weather got better and we ha it hasn't deteriorated back yet, I'm going to say we head off to the boat and see if we can find that other ship, which might have another treasure map. I'll worry about uh, shearing some of the plant life around here later. No! Oh, never mind, a whole bunch of it came up. <laughs> oh god, I can't see. Is it even down there? Well, it's not up here. Oh, there it is. Never mind, it is up here. Oh, I just made a big bear spot in the middle of it. <laughs> Anyways, I believe over here, in my earlier map searching adventures, is where I found a boat. Not immediately over here, I think it was somewhere over there. That's a whole bunch of ground stuff. See, I don't think it was immediately here. I 
I can hear my computer humming as it's now catching up with uh, Minecraft having to load more stuff again. I will also state that I had to load so much stuff the one time I chased after a treasure map that the game started to sputter every couple of seconds and wouldn't let me actually move properly. So I had to turn off the game. Uh, I had to go turn off the game to the main menu and then start back up again. Holy smokes! What was that? Oh, there it is. Because if I'm not mistaken, from what I've experienced, ooh, shit! Look at that. I picked up a cooked fish. Yeah, I don't want to fuck around too much with that. And the sun's already staying on us. Ha oh, hi. Not staying here. not staying here. I'm hearing those uh, tridents being tossed at me. Oh, there it goes. further out or something. That's a lot of freaking creepers. Oh, hello. Here it is. Here's the sunken boat. All right. We know where we need to be. Let's head back to base. We can probably shortcut here now. We'll see how things load in. Oh, there's lights and stuff out in here. Because, yeah, that's my base over there. So we head up towards these lights. We can head straight over that way and find the boat ruins. Alright. Sounds good to me. Yes, hello, Mr. Dolphin. Top floor, please. I'd like to be on the top here and get to bed. Uh, adventures await. My mining arm. <laughs> How does these called mining arm? My arm just sticks straight out in front of me the entire time I'm resting. <laughs> okay, I think I see it from here now.
Yep. My trees are in the clouds. Here. This looks like a safe enough place to park the boat. Not a lot of this boat left. But there is a buried treasure map. Hmm. And if I chop this up, yep. Let me get. Oh, nice. Give me all thine shinies. I think that should be everything on here, yes? Maybe? Let's drill through the floor here and double check. Yeah, that seems to pan out. Yeah, I think the only other thing was down here. Unless the rest of the boat is somehow buried in here. Which I don't think so. I think it's just not going to have those parts. We can always still check though. Be honest, I'm not gonna say to know the free wood either. Okay, no, there's nothing down there. Alright. So if I was to head this way. Alright. So we need to head out that way. Not sure what does that. Is it like the size of the stuff I have preloaded or what? At least it's not as bad as it was before. Last time when this happened, got to the point that it was completely unplayable. As I said, every couple of seconds it was locking up. I'd maybe get a free second and then lock up again. I couldn't even turn the boat, it was getting so laggy. Am I getting further away? Maybe it's the other way. Yeah, that's, a, that's the idea I'm getting out of that, actually. So the other way we go. Till the map proves me wrong otherwise. Oh, 
Okay, we're getting close. Is it around the same spot as the previous one? If it is, I'm gonna eat my own hat. It's really looking to be close to where the previous one was. That's kind of ridiculous. Like, not exactly, but pretty dang close, I think. How could you hide so many chests in the same spot? There's the evidence of my previous chest finding. Yeah, not exactly the same. Really close, but not exactly the same. No, wait. Let me hop out. No, it's exactly the same. This is the same freaking buried treasure map. F you. Well, let's see if there's anything else around here. Because that buried treasure was just disappointing. see anything else like sunken boats or anything yeah something's not loading there properly or that's the craziest mountain I've ever seen okay there it goes That's kind of funky. Let's let all that load in for a moment. That'll help speed it up a little bit. It doesn't have to worry as much about other animations if I pause it. See, it doesn't have to move the dolphin and everything. Gives it more focused time for loading. Nothing lootable on the surface. Yeah. Time to head back, me thinks. I think it's time to head us home. Back to the mountain where we belong. But there's house of this out here. This is where scavenging. Also, worth eating before we head down there. Because the last thing we need is to try and head down into a lootable area and end up completely overwhelmed. Okay, there it is. Are we beacon of light? Seems to be a couple of them. One spot. Oh, look at that. It's more of these air bubble things.
Looking around to see if there's anything other than the little light bubbles. And the magma blocks. There we go. I was going to say, I think usually the ones, the little ones like this one here, are where we find everything. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, hey, a stone axe. Yoink. And another buried treasure map. Ooh. something else bubbling out there so let's head back very close to home and I believe we can use the uh, kelp I got from the incident with the boat to uh, get green dye if I'm not mistaken for those of that don't know favorite color is green all right Got them on out Down in the early spot. All right, I'm going to show you down my basement in a few minutes here. Someone's on my roof again. I don't like people on my roof. if I kept you for something else. I forget now. I know it's used for something. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was now. Either way. Boom. I also have no idea what these extra tables do. I think the smoker might be used for certain food or something. I don't know. Uh, put that away. Have uh, enough for another torch. Or another lantern, rather. Put the gold nugs in. How much string do I have in storage? And put these feathers in here too. Oh, just enough. Let's make some leads. Awesome. All right. Got another lantern. The iron nugs here. Don't leave the lapis behind. Don't need any more of the slime with me at the moment. We'll check out this map in a little bit. Definitely don't need these. There's the original map. Don't need these either at the moment. I think I think I've unloaded everything. Ah, uh, let's drop that off too. Don't want to risk it. Okay, now I think I've dropped off everything I don't need immediately at the moment. <sighs> really? I'm pretty sure that's the exact same map. Is the buried treasure or the same map in every every time you find it in this game? And uh, if you're watching this, answer to me uh, in the comments or uh, mention it to me on the video if you're watching the VOD or the live stream. But yeah, that's... That's bloody annoying. Oh. I went around my house.
I'm pretty sure that's the same damn map. That just annoys me. Hey, we finally saved our uh, new current point. All right. Let's head downstairs. Time to show you all the basement. We're slowly punching our mining hole into down here. Which is when we hit this little bit of chaos. Still haven't fully explored it, and as I went deeper, I found out that it goes spins around and comes out of here, too. Ain't you just a little idiot? I hope you enjoy fire. Punk. Ooh, ow. Ho oh, ho. Ha ha. That's my character's shins. Turning into powder. slime down there. It's in the mood I'd go chasing after it. I'm not in the mood right now. So actually the best question to ask right now of myself is where are we at? Oh. Not quite the bottom but we're getting there. Okay, we're at 35 right now. One, two, three, four, five. There. I need to at least make it five tall so I can uh, put in stairs and not constantly bonk my head. Why I'm still only going to use torches for uh, areas like this. And we're going to continue our mine dig. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty to look back at back there, but uh, I still want my strip mine area. It's the easiest way to find diamonds. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Speaking of, look at all of that coal. That's right, I'm going to have to 
start making some of the coal into blocks. Holy cow. Yeah, it's just all over in here. Not that I'm complaining. Good XP. Although I'm not going to complain because now I need to get out of here. There we Yeah, you know what? Just keep firing that up. And what is this used for? I wish it would give you a list of things. Just eat it? I thought that's come to me, but I don't know. Oh! Yeah, not very appetizing, but it is edible. That's like some emergency ass food. Emergency. Um, let's see here. Snip, snip. Whee! this up a bit and see if I can get some fish around here. Realize there's iron and uh, deposits in the side of my home. Yep. That's how cluttered it is around here. I can't even tell that that stuff actually exists until now. Just as well that I cook a whole bunch of kelp then, I guess. Not only will it be uh, good instantaneous heal food, but uh, in replacement for uh, any normal decent food for a moment, but it also helps me clear out the area around my house. Maybe find some more fish. Maybe find some other things.
Look at all this stuff. I think part of it is, I think part of it is that I really do need to get rid of all this kelp. I think the large amount of kelp in this area is actually legitimately bogging the game down. And my getting rid of it will only help the game further. <laughs> I think it'll also allow water creatures to spawn out here, but at the same time, I think it might even allow the uh, water zombies to appear out here more easily as well. That's a that's a price I'm willing to take to have available food. It ain't kelp. Oh, shoot. That's just great. Just trying to surface, and I surface right in the lava pool, which means a whole bunch of my stuff just went bye bye. Fuck you. Matter of fact, I think all of it went bye. Oh, uh, nope. A lot of it's still trying to come to the surface. Thinking this for that, and maybe I bumped at it at the right angle that maybe a lot of it flew backwards. And around and stuff, just forwards. Oh. Yep, there it is. There's that risk I was talking about. things first. Let's collect the rest of this kelp. But I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of my gear just went right into that lava. Or sank like a rock. It's hard to see down there, so I'm going to do the brightness thing again. Oh, hey, there's the fish. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in my gear. Head a little bit further out this way. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Take stock of what I got left. There went the nice axe I had. There went my pick. My torches are still here. Oh, there went my sword. At least I didn't have my magical gear on me. At least I was smart enough to decide on that earlier. Oh, God. At least I didn't lose the leashes, and I still got most of my iron ore. And I still got these lanterns. If 
but I think a whole bunch of my ingots went missing. Maybe I'll check that in a moment again. I needed to pull out a iron pick anyways. No, I still got my iron ingots. Thank goodness for that. Alright, time to upgrade and uh, let's not dance around with the fire, shall we? No, a whole bunch of my wood went missing. It must have gone right into the lava. Dang it. All right. Make an iron pick first. Now an iron sword. And just for piss and giggles. An iron hat and an iron pair of pants. There. I'm ready for civilization. Yes, I have bare feet and a bare chest. What of it? I have head protection and nut protection. That's all you need. Can't tell me otherwise. Alrighty. Speaking of, actually, I just realized I haven't turned on my uh, shaders today. Oh, that's right. Actually, that's right. I can't use the shaders anymore because Optifine, I think, unless it's updated recently, Optifine's actually a version behind now. Because it can only use the version that it's prepared for. And the last one I saw was, uh, what's the current version? It's like something point, something, like one point something point three, and I think it's now point four. So yeah, that ain't happening. At least not at the moment. Just the sound of the water traveling, or is something else in the water? Keep cooking. We have dried kelp for days. And I'm getting a message. Half a moment. <laughs> Not in this humidity. Uh, I was asked if I was going somewhere for tomorrow. No, it might be only 70s number-wise, but I guarantee you the humidity is going to be murder. I'll be lucky if I get decent sleep tonight. I had to sleep half the afternoon away today just to make up for my lackluster sleep last night. Speaking of morning, here comes dawn. Alright, actually, we need to go downstairs and see if we got some real food. Oh yeah, I see them now. They start to mass and move about. Down 
here, little fishy. I like yummy, delicious fish. Ah. Let's see, I think there should be some more. I heard that. Pretty sure I heard what sounded like a ground, but I can't say for sure. Hello, Mr. Dolphin. Just caught that last air bubble. Heading out to deeper water here. I saw that bubble again. All right. Eat all your charcoal kelp. It's good for you. Keep the fish on me for now. Um, all of our uncooked foodstuffs. Just put them right here. Don't care what I feed my character. He just needs food every once in a while. <laughs> he's lucky he's not having to eat uh, rotten flesh all the time. Just remind me, we need to go upstairs and we need to check on my trees. Ooh, that was real close. Uh, hello, computer. Chop down the big tree. His 
saplings will make many other great trees. good okay all falling apart i wish it would fall apart like faster like modded minecraft does it's the only critique i really have about uh this game in particular is that i really do hate that the uh tree canopies take so bloody long to go away they should be automatically just falling apart as soon as they're not touching wood anymore i mean all the bits of it Like maybe program a chain of order that you might want to plant uh, for them to fall apart from, but they definitely need to fall apart faster than this. This is ridiculous. Punching them trees. Take all these trees down. All right. Plant up a few new ones. Don't keep the rest of the saplings. It's only enough room for like a couple of trees, anyways. Let's like make one more. Right about here. Not even like right about there. Maybe one right here. Now I'm gonna replant all the trees. And I'm tempted not to replant them at all right now and let all this fall apart. I got so many saplings right now. Yeah, I think I'm good. That old kelp diet's keeping me real healthy.
All right. Jump I've done more than once. <laughs> It's getting night time. Uh, now nah, let's do some more mining. I need to get down there. We must go deeper. Forgot to put that upstairs and get a axe. Oh well, axe shouldn't be important right now. A bunch of my stones went missing. There we go. Okay, where are we at? We are on level 24. 25, 26, no, no, wait. 23, 22. 21. And here's a nice collection of iron that we definitely need to collect right now. Because we just literally just need to outfit everything in iron right now. If we can't... If we can... Avoid having to use other materials for our tools, it's best to start upgrading at this point. keeping our account. It's down to 16. 15. 14. 
13. Next one is the one we want to reach. There we are, we're at 11. Now then. Hey, redstone. Open as it can get in all directions. From hitting 11. Let's keep expanding out. Lots of zombies down here somewhere. Let's go one more out. dark down here. I'm going to be starting the lights pretty soon here. What I like to do is I like to get down to the floor 11. I like to make a nice big starting room for the strip mine and then I like to pick a direction lately and what my new strategy has been now for the last couple times is I'll pick a direction. Like, I might literally decide to go ahead straight back towards the mountain where we start from and just dig underneath it and see what we can find. Because usually the mountains in particular have a lot of good stuff. Speaking of which, where is my current zone at? Uh... I think, I forget where, but there's a place I think in this uh, stream of numbers and data that tells you what kind of a zone you're in. Okay, I'm in ocean. Deep ocean starts here. And if I head back to base, will it turn back to ocean or will it stay ocean? Or will it turn into or will it turn into something else other than ocean, rather? <sighs> the hell? I'll have to zombie dying in the lava. Okay, I lost my bottom again. There it is. 
uh, biome. People who can't see it is right here. Ocean. Stone shore. Hi, Creeper. Bye, Creeper. <laughs> Whatever that noise was, it wasn't a Creeper, so I'm not sure what that was. I think that might be the new, uh... I think that might be the new villager zombie, but I can't say for sure. Okay, Stone Shore still. Mountains. Okay, my base is in the mountains. And mountains usually has a high drop rate for diamonds and stuff, so we will be hit drilling back towards base. And we'll see what we bump into on our way. I think I'm going to be heading back across that gorge again. <laughs> Alright. Just was curious, and now no. Three. 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 In all directions, okay. I like the lantern look. Not sure what that uh, bug out visual was, but whatever. Let's start heading back this way. Make sure I'm not flipping a stair. Yeah. Gonna start tooling our way back this way my pick bricks and then we're going to head upstairs make a new iron one all right also ooh that's interesting In a certain spot there yeah i can clip through and see to the surface there's a skeleton up there somehow i'm not sure how i'm willing to bet it's like a cave or something Days high in. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's usually what I need for tunnels. I usually do a shorter for stairs just because I want to make sure they're protected. There we go. Speaking of stairs, I'm going to have to make some. Uh, Stone stairs for coming down here. Make the trip a little easier. to keep hopping. In fact, I should clean this up a bit too. I don't think I really need this area in here. Yeah, pig first. And then I'm going to clean stuff up. Um, some sticks. I'm grabbing an apple. There we go. All right. 
right. Let me see here. Got four leftover nuggets. Five, six, seven, eight. Couple more lanterns. I legit want the uh, mine feel in my mining operation. I might even put a few lanterns around in other places too, but in particular, I want the cool looking lanterns to be inside my mind just so you get the, the authentic feel of dangling lights from the rafters in the area you're carving out. Torches are fine for the way down, but uh, I want something a little more authentic when we're down there. Let's head on down and see how much we can cover. All right, need some more. Alrighty.
that's done. And actually, to be honest, I'm looking at the time here, and I think we are over our time for today anyways, for our hour. So I'm going to call it there, folks. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to uh, follow or subscribe, depending upon where you're watching, if you want to keep watching more. And I will see you all the next time we play some more Minecraft. Otherwise, tomorrow we start Saints Row 3. And I'm hoping it runs better than Saints Row 2 did, because that thing was riddled with bugs that kept you from beating the game. I really am tired of games that do that to me. Especially when it's a couple hours in. But anyways, hopefully that one will work better. Hopefully it's a little more bug-proof. That's it for now. See you all next time.